Well, we're very, very fortunate to have uh, uh, the daughter of, uh, of somebody that I really admired uh, her whole career. The film is Geraldine Ferraro, Paving the Way. And on a variety of levels, uh, not only is she uh, you know, an Italian-American, Geraldine um, really broke a lot of uh, ceilings and, and, and really asserted herself in an area that was very difficult at the time. And uh, I'm here with Donna Zaccaro. Welcome, Donna. Thank you. And, uh, boy, I, I, off camera I said, how did you luck out getting two wonderful parents like you, your parents? It's terrific. What, what was it like growing up in that household? Um, well, I guess it was a pretty traditional Italian-American household. Um, what you'll see in the film is, um, though, that even though it was very traditional, it was very untraditional in a lot of ways, starting first with um, my mother choosing to use her maiden name, or. Uh, professionally and keeping it, um, which is not, you know, was not what women did at the time in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, and she did that in honor of her mother, who was a single head of household. Her, her father had died, my mother's father had died when she was eight. Um, and it was really because of her mother's sacrifices she felt that she was able to achieve what she was able to achieve. So she asked my father if he would be okay with um, her using her maiden name when she passed the bar exam. And um, he said he thought it was a wonderful tribute to her mother. And that was pretty untraditional. So even though my mother was very much the Italian um, mama, as you would say, she, you know, she, she cooked every night, she did the grocery shopping, um, you know, and, and we had a very close, we still have a very close uh, family. They were very untraditional in lots of other ways. Fantastic, and and what a role model! I mean, she not only you know for women, but also for men. I mean, uh, my my father died when I was young, and my mother raised my brother and I, and she was a working woman. She was a dress operator, and the same, um, you know, in, in those days, it was very difficult. A woman couldn't even open up a checking account without a hassle. You know, they would always ask, "Well, where's your husband? What does your husband do for a living?" And you know, it'd be very difficult if you if uh, you were a it's widow and you couldn't. It's funny you should, you should bring that up. It wasn't just if you were a widow. When my mother was a member of Congress, she tried to open a, 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 a charge account on her own, separate from my father's, from their joint accounts. Okay. And she was actually denied. And she submitted it. She thought there was a mistake the first time. The second time, she submitted it. And um, to make a long story short, she made it public that they were not allowing a member of Congress because she was a woman who didn't have an established credit history without her husband to open it up. So that was continuing into the 70s. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And, and the, whole, the whole movement, um, which she was a forefront um, of in many ways with other women, uh, was remarkable. I mean, today we, we think, oh, that could never happen. That, but it did. It did. And it was very, very painful and, and, and hurtful. Also, the limitations uh, placed against her with being Italian. And um, it's something that really no one touches upon, but... Well, the uh, movie does. It does. The movie actually addresses um, all the various attacks that she and my father were subjected to. Mm -hmm. I have a background in television myself um, at NBC. I was at NBC a long time producer. So I approached it more as a journalist. Mm -hmm. um, it was very important to me to bring up all the good and the bad mm -hmm. um, and everything that they went through. And she was subjected to a different level of scrutiny and attack um, because she was the first mm -hmm. and because she was a woman. So what you see in the film, um, there are a lot of different stories. It's the story of her life, um, which is very much of an American story, of um, you know the, the grandchild of immigrants uh, reaching unimaginable heights. Sure. Um, it's also the women's uh, a woman's story. It's a women's movement and a time in the women's movement. I truly believe, and I hope it's portrayed accurately or well in the film, that. Um, even though they lost in their quest for the presidency and the vice presidency, how she conducted herself during that campaign made a difference as to how people in this country thought about what was possible for women. Um, and that's her enduring legacy. But then I also wanted people to understand the different lessons that I grew up with that mm -hmm. were the lessons of her life, how important education was, um, how if you continue working hard, um, you have an obligation to, to work hard to help other people and give back. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it, it, you know, so there, there are a lot of different stories. It's also my father's story, as you bring up, um, and he never talked to the press during that 84 cam campaign, or really afterwards, and was subject to so many attacks. Um, and this is really the first time that he's told his story. And and being vindicated. And you, and I don't you, know if it's vindicated, but at least you see his side of the story, too. And it's amazing, because he was suffering in silence. And it was um, uh, a situation that you felt the pain that he was going through, and, and very difficult. But, you know, it's always at a cost. And um, <clears throat> also, uh, not to cheapen the vice president thing, but the, the run of Sarah Palin, there was no comparison between her uh, background and what your mother brought to the picture. I mean, she was a solid um, uh, candidate that uh, really represented all, all the things that are wonderful that in, the, in this nation. Well, I'm very proud of you, and I think that Thank you. that we should, uh, everyone should run, not walk, to the, Geraldine Ferraro, Paving the Way. It's a documentary world premiere here, and it's 86 minutes. Of course, it's in English. <laughs> and if there's a website that they can get in touch there with is, you. There um, is, www.geraldineferraropavingtheway. Uh, Geraldine Ferrara paving the way and distribution. Uh, where will it be distributed? Um, well, it's going to be in other festivals as well, uh -huh. uh, and then it'll be on Showtime this spring. Okay. Women's History Month. Excellent, excellent. And you know, it's um, Columbus Day. We're right now in the middle of Columbus Day, and being an Italian American, uh, if you wanted to celebrate, go see the movie.